Hello, I am Dr. Tina Thomas, obstetrician and gynecologist, Bangalore. HPV is human papilloma virus. It's a small DNA virus. They uh, cause infection at the mouth of the uterus or the cervix. That's the most common. One of the most common sexually transmitted disease it is. And there are many types of HPVs from 1 to 100. And the most common problem we face with HPV is foul smelling discharge or some infection. They are usually self limiting diseases and they come and cause a change in the cervix and they go away. That is how HPV works. So, when these HPV virus get to stay a longer period of time on the cervix, that is when there are a lot of changes that happens. Now, Basically, since it is a self-limiting uh, disease, you do not keep doing diagnosing it or so. We cannot recognize it. So these are not uh, viewable by our eyes and say, okay, you have HPV infection right now. So they just look like any other sexually transmitted or any other uh, vaginal cervical infections. So you cannot recognize them as such. How to diagnose them is by doing HPV DNA testing. So there's a smear test which we do for HPV DNA and once we uh, do that HPV DNA we get to know that you have that but that specific HPV virus so as I told you HPV virus can be of many types so 6, 11, 18, 19 these are the common types but there can be 2, 3, 4, 5 so many types of HPV we do not have the DNA uh, smears to find out the HPV of all the types Basically, we are looking forward to 6, 11, 16, 18, these type of HPV viruses for which we have specific HPV DNA smears and we can find that out. But otherwise, um, uh, we cannot actually recognize it. So basically, we treat any vaginal in or cervical infection has to be there. We can do an HPV DNA smear test to find out if there is HPV DNA. And these are self-limiting conditions. The basic 16, 18 are of, of worrisome, but otherwise the others are benign and do not cause much of changes. 9 and 11 does cause genital warts, but other types we do not treat unless they are causing any problems.